All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time to go ahead and talk to my man. He's talking a little different today. He usually talks about defense, but now he got some news about the offense. What you got, Wolf a Lion? Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, just activated yesterday at practice. <sighs> Our six foot two Tyreek Hill is here. Yes, James <laughs> Williams is active. Oh my, oh my lord, oh my lord. And you know what? Thank you, Doug Prince, 72. Uh, I work with him, and he just said to me last week, when is Jameson going to come back? Because he's looking real good in these workout videos. Well, Doug Prince, Talk to your prayers have been answered. <laughs> Man, no, we're we not going to see him this week uh, on a short week. But we may see, we could possibly see him the following week, okay? Uh, in, in a limited fashion, maybe. Uh, maybe it might be two weeks out. But all I know is, is the top is about to be taken off the defense. Man, Jameson Williams runs by people. He is a six foot two Tyreek Hill and a route technician. Tyreek Hill, when he first came to the NFL, was not a route technician. He was very limited uh, in the routes that he could run. Jameson Williams can run the whole route tree. And he does it. But I think he might be faster than Tyreek Hill. I'm just, I'm just saying. He might be faster than Tyreek Hill. I, I want to see him in a foot race. You know what I'm saying? His mama, mama didn't play. I'm on clay. Uh, but uh, Jameson Williams, man, he just, it, it, it just excites me because we, we're getting all this good news. And it's not just us drinking a Kool-Aid. It's Romeo Cora on the 21 day. Now JMO was on the 21 day. It's like everything is starting to happen, and we haven't seen the team get healthier into the season in Detroit in a long time. Like it's usually the other way around. As the season goes on, players drop off. Right. And they they and it, it's just such a it's such a man. I don't even know what a defense will do. When they got Jameson Williams running that nine route, and then they got a mom Ra underneath, I don't even, I don't know, I don't know what I would do if I was a defensive coordinator. I would be like, man, I don't really know what to do right now. Um, so I'm just happy, man. What the y'all, man? I mean, I'm speechless right now. Cause if Jam will come back and and man, go on, go on, man, go on, go on, hey, say something. All right, for me, what does he do? He stretches the field. However. He can run the whole route tree from every position on the field for wide receiver. You can line him up in the slot. You can line him up uh, at X, Y, Z. You can line him anywhere, and he can run the whole route tree. Someone asked the question on Twitter. It's like, well, what can Jared Goff get the ball to JMO down the field? Actually, doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He can outrun anybody on a crossing route. Anybody. Nobody can. Who can stay with him on a crossing route? And if you pass them off, you got another guy coming around the other side, like a like an Amara Ross St. Brown. It's going to be – we get this wide receiver core back intact. I, I said the same thing yesterday with, with DJ Chark. He stretches the field. So that takes coverage away from the underneath because you have to account for someone down the field. And you get, we get back Josh Reynolds. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. We're gonna be something to deal with. And we already have a stop, we already have a stop running game and a great offensive line. And we get all these pieces together. We're gonna be something to deal with the back half of the stretch because you look at who we're playing. Okay, we got Buffalo this week. That's gonna be a tough game. I don't know if it's gonna be a win or loss. We got them uh in a couple of days, but I think we're gonna play them tough either way. I'm not calling for a win, I'm not calling for a loss. I'm just saying it's gonna be a tough game. Jacksonville. The Jets. The Jets only scored like three points the other day. You got uh, Chicago. You got the Packers that are just a crap show right now. I mean, you look at the back half of this, the back half of our schedule, we can make some noise. I'm not calling for playoffs. I'm not calling for anything like that. I'm just saying it could be it could be interesting <laughs> on the back end of this schedule. I was listening to 97.1 yesterday, uh, and I listened to it on the Odyssey app for us, you know, because I live in North Carolina. But this dude, he was drinking the Kool-Aid for real, for real. I'm like, I've, I heard people drinking Kool-Aid, but 
this dude was like, we gonna run the table for the rest of the I was like, oh, man, you tripping. <laughs> he was saying, we gonna be 11 and six. I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but but if you look at the, the direction we're going in, we're getting healthy at the right time. And Brad Holmes in his office saying, back up off me, dog. <laughs> what you got, LL? <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point that you just made. That's when when he comes out. Whenever he scores first touchdown, um, I want him to just pan over to uh, to Brad at home. I just, I just want to see. I want to see the, the smirk on his face, and if and, and Miss Sheila standing next to him, whatever. I want to see the smirk on her face. Like what's she gonna be looking like? Like here we go now. Oh, she could have so, her boss um, on. She can have, have her buffs with a with a you bottle of white with a bottle of white diamonds. Hey, <laughs> I want I want I want Brad Holmes to do the uh the sleepy Floyd dance on so fresh so clean. I want to mm, I want to hit that one time. I thought I thought you were about to say with a bottle of white Hennessy, but um yeah, well, no I I'm uh I'm I'm anticipating you know he would depend on what kind of role they give him. Hopefully they held him back this long that they don't have to you know bring him on solely. They could just say here you go. So let's see. Um, I've been saying it, you know, a few times. I kind of envision where he would fit in, you know, maybe taking some of the, getting some of those balls that we've mm -hmm. seen, Khalif Raymond, you know, things like that. And maybe it'll be the ball that's meant for DJ Chark. It'd be for him because Chark yeah. got hands issues. So, you know, let's see what you got, J-Mo. It's, it's your time if, is not mine. If you look at J-Mo, if you look at him on the sidelines now, compared to what he looked like when he first got here, they put some weight on Jameson Williams. They put some weight yeah. on him. Look, if you look at the last video of him on the side, remember wherever he was getting about the, about the, I think it was last game. It wasn't the, it wasn't the Giants game. It was the game he before about, that. He about the, and he about to knuck up with old boy on the side. Yeah. I'm like, he looks, he looks a little thicker. He looks a little yeah. thicker, and he looks, he definitely looks a little thicker. So, uh, hey, yeah, man. I got one thing to say. What's that? Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, looking a little thicker. I think they wanted to put some NFL weight on him. You know what I'm saying? His body hadn't even matured yet. Think about this. He's still so young. Wait till his body matures, man. Hey, he getting away from with my Ross ain't brown, boy. It's going to be some boy, yeah, man. Be some slow singing and some flower bringing for some of them cats in the secondary. <laughs> they hear the rest of this conversation. <laughs> Tune in to the full version of Let's Talk Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions of the Prize, right here on this YouTube channel. So just click back a couple of videos and catch out the full version of today's show.